All right, greetings, family, and Maha. My name, or Modende, is Jonathan Hill, uh, or now it's gonna be Kofi, <laughs> mixed with some more. Um, I'm from Tallahassee, Florida, and I was born in Pensacola, Florida. But I could be considered, a, I guess, a uh, U.S. Navy brat. Uh, my dad was in the Navy for 20 years, and we moved around a lot. So I spent some time in California. I spent some time in Pennsylvania, uh, even Iceland, um, and D.C. But it was just a bunch of experiences that I um, that I gained and I gathered while I was at those places, moving around. And I was able to see some of the of the dynamics between our people um, and Yorugu. And some of those things have shaped the mode of my mind over the years. So I continued on. Um, I ended up going to a HBCU, Florida a and I don't know if there's any Rattlers. Um, and that was a great experience because it was really beautiful being in a place where you could see our people thriving, our people focused, our people uh, working towards a, a end goal and you know when you get out of there you know it's not the reality when you go into the greater world you see you know go across the street go to another town you know that's not the reality unless it's like pg county or atlanta but um that also shaped my mindset but uh continued on after that i ended up going into yorugu's marine corps for five years and um i spent time in Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, I went to Cuba twice on two different deployments. Um, then I went to Bahrain and Yemen. And then I went to 29 Palms, California, from which I went to Afghanistan. Um, those experiences in the in Yorugu's Marine Corps, like that just that just really opened my mind up because you know they had no holes bar. Like they'll tell you how you feel, how they feel. And so, you know, that opened my eyes and it really, I think for the, for the most part, for most of us, like our, our people tend to go to sleep when there's uh, liberal, you know, white folks. But when you have it in your face, that's the best thing because it wakes you up. And I think we need that. And we need to stop shying away from, from that. And I think that's part of the warrior spirit that we have. And uh, that's another thing. So like growing up, I always wanted to be a warrior and, you know, I always watched the G.I. Joes and all that other stuff and that that was just in me. But uh, I think now I've, I've had a revelation and I, I have a purpose and I, I found that purpose. Um, uh, afterwards, as, as I said, I was waking up and um, just like Charles, um, like Hidden Colors, that, that changed my life. That changed my whole worldview. I mean, we can say what we want to say about other people, but, you know, we have to give credit where credit is due. And all of it adds up, you know, no matter who you, you find or listen to in life, you know, it's a culmination of, of those people and those experiences that bring you to where your purpose is. And so now I've, I've come to this point. It was, a, it was a long journey. I went through listening to different uh, lecturers, uh, reading all the different books. Um, I guess my, my foundation would be The Destruction of Black Civilization uh, by Chancellor Williams. And I recommend that to everyone on this bus and everyone out there in the world. Um, that's the foundation. You, you, you have to understand that first to really get the context of what we're going through. Um, so, you know, after that, uh, you know, I ended up um, joining many different organizations. Uh, to name a few, uh, one of them was the UNIA ACL uh, 421 um, out of Atlanta. And um, ended up finding out later that Bomani was in the same division. And so uh, we had a lot of mutual people that we knew um, and, you know, different organizations I was a part of. I had, you know, radio shows and different things. Ended up having Bomani on one of my shows. And uh, he was talking about his tour and it was just really exciting. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity. So that was three years ago. And um, we ended up linking at Garvey Day and it's just been, you know, on ever since then. Um, as every, everyone else has said, you know, the brother is diligent and consistent, and um, these tours are showing us uh, what leadership is and what professionalism truly is. And I think that's what we need to take uh, moving forward with our people in the next 50 years to 100 years. We have a lot of work to do. But, um, you know, as I sit here and I, I look at Brother Daniel, 
I mean, I think we got this on lock. I think we could do it. We could. Africa's gonna unite. We're gonna rekindle the flames, and uh, you know, get back where we need to be. Um, I'm just so thankful for this tour. I mean, I can't. I, it's not many words. It's it's just when you, you have this experience that you have to feel when you get here. Um, our people are beautiful. This place is beautiful, and it, it does something to the soul. Yes. So. I thank you, uh, Abibi Fohorie, and um, Black African Power. Thank you. Wonderful. Woo.